Hi, so today I'm going to print with the Artillery 3D. Uh, it's kind of been a little bit since I did it. Calvin used it this past weekend, but I wanted to take and do a print, and my wife on the way home tonight was talking about this painting bear that we saw over on Thingiverse. So I'm going to download it, I'm going to slice it, and put it on this printer and try it out. I'm going to slice it, I believe, at 150%, so it'll be a little bit taller. And it comes in three different pieces. I didn't expect that, so it's going to be like a little sandwich, and then the suitcase and one of the hands is separate. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a shot. Hopefully it'll work. Uh, I'm going to try doing it all in one print, but I might end up having to break it up. I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go ahead and slice it up, and I'll see you at the end of the time lapse. Fourteen hours, thirty-nine minutes later, and I'd say it came out pretty good. Wow, it turned out really good, actually. Let's see if good. It came loose there. It is a three-part print. I did use a, a uh, brim because I was not one hundred percent sure whether the, everything would stay stuck to the bed, so I did did do the brim which it's good it's bad <laughs> it's good for the fact that it's going to stick your prints to the bed a lot easier it's bad because then you have that little bit of flash there which actually I've got uh, the tool right here close by I think I can run around that and take that right off let's see where did I put that tool at the one that came with uh, Chuck Hillebuck's uh, Filament Friday kit. He just takes that flash right off. There we go. It's actually looking pretty good. A little bit right there. There we go. It looks good. Sandwich looks good enough. Eh, I get a little bit of cleanup. This little deburring tool really comes in handy. There we go. And let's get his feet cleaned up. I was just kind of worried about if this would cause the issue with the toes. Nope. Not bad at all. Now this was printed at 0.2 layer height. Now I am feeling ridges around the body which I have not noticed before so I'm going to have to go back through and check some things on this printer and make absolutely sure everything's tightened down right. And it could just be steps from the being at point two. I'm not for sure. I did attempt it without the supports. Let me get a light in here. And you can see a little bit of looping right there but not bad. Definitely not. I thought it would actually fail. I honestly expected to come out find a felled print. Now the way this is supposed to work I believe the hand just glues right up into that sleeve. So let me see if I've got some glue here where I can get that glued in really quick. There we go. Put a little bit of this gel super glue. Put a little bit on here. I 
that set for a moment that should be able to glue together okay it's been nearly a minute there we go and then I think a sandwich is supposed to fit up on top of his head somewhere there let's see yeah good enough <laughs> there he is now my wife was wanting to paint him but I think that she might decide not to after after seeing the way he turned how he turned out uh, once again I am going to have to check out some stuff on this printer find out why I'm getting those lines um, need to double check the lead screws make sure I don't have something loose there um, everything feels tight on the gantry part I'll check it out Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Hey, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. When you have a chance, please check out my website, jimmyshawstidbits.com, where you can purchase merchandise from my Tee Public store, as well as check out my Amazon affiliate link. Anything purchased from one of those helps the channel tremendously, and I thank you for it. Also, if you'd like to support the channel, as many of these people have, please check out my Patreon link over here. You can support the channel from there. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and please subscribe over here. And if you'd like to check out one of my other videos, please give one of these a shot. I think you're going to like them, especially that one over there. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. Take care.